We don't need our hope. I know this is a bit confusing, but let me explain. We do every year create a community poll to gather some information about the users who use this engine. With the information gathered, they can use it to improve the engine in many ways as they know more about the people using it. We do has recently created the 2023 poll and today I will be checking it out. Now let's start. So here we are in the official site of Goodode. And in the latest news, we can find here Community Poll 2023. And here we have some information uh, which is very useful uh, if you can read it. So I'm gonna quickly read it. As we do every year, we would like to take a short poll to gather some basic information about the Goodode community. We have a short list of questions and we hope you will take the time to fill them out. Some things that are very important is that this poll is completely anonymous and that it will only remain open for a week. This post was created on 23 of June, so if it's going to remain open for about a week, uh, you should have time to uh, complete the poll uh, until 30 of June. So if we click here, we're going to be able to complete this community poll or we can also see the result from previous years by clicking on these links. So let's click here and check out the poll. So again, I'm gonna raise some information here. Uh, we do community poll 2023. Each year we do community poll to better understand who Goodot's users are and how the Goodo project can better serve its users. As I said on the introduction, this poll is very useful to gather information about the users that use uh, the engine so that they can improve uh, the engine. This year we have added a few extra questions relating to the Good Job Foundation. We are hoping to find out what areas the community wants us to prioritize. The poll should take 5 to 10 minutes to complete. So now let's start. So firstly, you're gonna select your age group. Then here your gender and here it says where do you live? Well, yeah, I'm living in South America. Uh, previous experience before using Gujo here, I believe you can select yes, you can select multiple options. Um, so in my case, before using Gujo, um, I used a Python and a, a library called Pygame. So um, let me find this. So I believe uh, this should be this one because here it says library. Okay, and then I'm gonna click next. When did you first hear of Goodjot? Uh, I think it was about uh, 2020. When did you start using Goodjot? Um, I started using Goodjot in um, 2021. I used Goodjot for small projects or jump games. Because when I wanted to release something more complex, I had to use Unity. How do you primarily work with Goodjot? So here I would say education and uh, research. What has been the main influence for you to use or to choose Goodjot? So in my case, this is the option people I follow online recommended or used it. How do you use Goodjot? And um, primarily, I use it for 2D game dev. Uh, for three game dev, none. Give base upload game, none. And teaching, let's say, sometimes. What better describes your skill set? Uh, programming, I would say intermediate. To the art, um, I would also say basic intermediate, actually, but well. 3D art, uh, no skills. Game design, intermediate. VFX, um, intermediate. And sound design. Uh, let's say all I would say also basic intermediate like the middle of this music composing and um, basic uh, writing no skills because I didn't make any game related to a story questions and answers no skill uh, production I don't know what this really refers to but I believe this is about uh, like producing a complete game publishing or something like that and then about business and marketing, I don't have really some idea of that because I'm just a game developer. Of course, I know some things related to marketing and business. I mean, like how to make games that are marketable or that uh, the people will be interested, but that I don't have a lot of skill. So I would really like having here 
some more options like for, for example no skill slash basic or something like that like in the middle of no skill and basic and the same thing in basic and intermediate like basic intermediate or something like that just to have more options by the way let's continue are you using a joke for a a r or v r no so i'm just gonna skip it at it said here uh, what game genres are you using to do to develop for uh, i use it to develop casual uh every casual and that kind of stuff and i'm not currently earning money with it uh what are your main revenues method or methods using the do not currently having a revenue do you use or plan to use networking in your games for reference peer-to-peer -peer games you play with friends um now i'm applying or on using something related to networking do you program in a team? No, I don't. Then you have, do you use version control? Yes, I use Git and GitHub Desktop. Which version control system would you prefer to use with all if it was available? I would definitely use Git. Um, what is your primary development platforms? I'm on Windows, as uh, you can see right here. Uh, what type of hardware do you mainly use to run the good job editor desktop? What type of graphics processor GPU do you mainly use to run the good old editor? Uh, Integrated GPU? No. High and dedicated GPU. Uh, low, medium, and dedicated GPU. Does your graphic card support a, a, a RTX? It means uh, no. When did you, on average, buy the hardware you used to run the good old editor? Uh, it was two to five years ago. What are your main sport platforms and Windows and also HTML? And which versions of Joe do you run uh, the most? I usually like for videos. I, I'm always using Gojo for one development releases like the betas and everything like that. But if I have to make like a project, uh, I will use definitely Gojo for. But here I can't uh, select multiple options. So the most that I run is for videos, so I'm gonna click this option. Have you migrated your main project to Go for zero? Uh, I would say no, I am currently fine with my current version. What is your main way of obtaining and using Go? And I would say downloading binary from official website. Which is your most used from language? Uh, in Go, it's GDScript. Do you use Celery to extend with Joe, for example, modules, GD native or GD extension? Um, no, I don't. So I'm gonna click next. What communities do you most actively interact with? Uh, personally, I use the official server of Discord and some unofficial servers. I also use, of course, YouTube. Um, and I believe that should be all. Do you contribute to good code source code? No. Do you contribute to good jobs, documentations, or translations? No. Do you contribute to the community support? No. Nope. Do you work at the, at the game development studio? How aware are your perks about good job? So this is the option I'm gonna select. Do you use the asset library? No, I've never used the asset library. Would you pay for commercial assets in the asset library if they were available? No, because as I said in this uh, question, I don't use the asset library. Would you offer assets commercially in the asset library if it was allowed? No, because I don't sell assets and I'm not keen on the asset library. How satisfied are you with pace of uh, development? Mm, good. Development direction, also good. Project contributors, uh, good. Project leadership good good job community is very satisfied the good job community is nice image of good jokes um yes the image of good job is very good i believe professionalism um, tolerable because um if you want to make a, a triple a games or something that is very huge maybe you won't be able to do this uh, completely in good job Accessibility, of course, very satisfied because you can run with Joe in any uh, web, in I mean, in any PC, in any device, even in your Android device. Okay, let's click next. This section aims to get some feedback about what potential areas of growth the community would like funding to go towards. Your feedback will help shape the strategy priorities for the Guto Foundations. To be clear, the vast majority of funding currently goes directly to having contributors to work on the project full time. 
How comfortable are you with the following funding resources for the project? Individuals, companies, okay. So I would say definitely that I'm totally fine with all of these uh, options. Each of the following is a potential area of growth spending for the Good Job Foundation. How comfortable are you with donations being spent on each of the following? Education and great. And I would say good. Engine development, great asset store. Um, I would say uncomfortable because I don't use it. Merchandise. Uh, I would say unsettled. But well, maybe some, some people would like the merchandising about Good Job. Uh, but personally, I wouldn't buy a t-shirt saying good job or something like that. Community management, I would say that's fine. How do you feel about the Good Job Foundation forming strategic partnerships with companies in the ecosystem? In the ecosystem, sorry. Well, of course, I believe any kind of partnership is okay with Good Job. So I would say here, great. Okay, so your response has been recorded and everything is just fine. So this is all the video for today. Do not take on count my results, the things that I selected to complete your own poll. I will hurry up because you've got until the 30th of June to complete it because after that day you won't be able to complete this poll. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for the latest uh, releases and news about Good Jode and see you on the next one. Bye bye.